Mr Speaker, and thank the First Minister for the statement to the House today. This is an incredibly difficult time um, with such a prolonged period of lockdown, and many are feeling the physical and mental negative impacts from these restrictions, and I think many will be quite disappointed today. Uh, can the First Minister confirm that further uh, changes or easements to the restrictions do not necessarily have to wait until the next formal review, which is due on the 15th of April? So when we came with the pathway to this House, uh, Mr Speaker, you will recall that the only dates uh, in the document were the actual formal review dates that the Minister of Health has to review the regulations upon. So those were the only dates in the pathway. Um, there is flexibility uh, in the pathway to allow us to take decisions outside of those formal review dates. Uh, of course, we will want to assess what social contact we have uh, in terms of the capital that we have to spend, and so we'll have to look to see what way things are moving. Uh, but yes, we can move, in a fa and you will recall this last year, when we moved in a faster speed um, coming out of some of the regulations because of the fact that we were moving in a very good way. So hopefully that will be the case again, but we need people to work with us so that we can achieve that. I just do want to acknowledge uh, what she said about it being such a difficult time for so many people as well. It has been, both physically and mentally. We hope uh, that the easements that have been granted uh, around being able to get outside and, and uh, meet with another household will allow people to get out and about uh, and to enjoy what I hope will be good weather uh, over the coming uh, period. And I know it's only a modest uh, relaxation, but I hope that it will help some of those people.